Welcome guys to a new type of series which I'm going to be calling Epic Squad Builders. Now why is it called Epic? Let me explain. Now when I try to do my squad builders, I try to avoid the red lines. Why? Simply because the players don't cooperate well with each other. We don't want those red lines because they're not doing those runs they're intended to do. For example, I don't really, I hate to have red lines at the defense. It's because they don't cooperate very well when it comes to the offside trap. I've seen it multiple times and especially there are a lot of squad builders and I've seen for example in 4-2-2 formation, 4-4-2 formation in which people they simply divide the team into two different leagues. Let's say left side is a BPL team and right side is a La Liga team and yeah you have just red lines in between them and I really don't like that. So that's what I uh, refer to when I say epic squad builder. I'm trying to find a very good balance in which I try to avoid as many red lines as possible. Let me demonstrate. Now for this team, I really really love this team. It's one of my favorite teams. Not the best one that I've used, but uh, probably the second best I've used. And I'm going to share this with you. Now let's start with the goalkeeper. And for goalkeeper, I got check. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have the team of the season card or the normal card, he is simply an amazing goalkeeper. I'm not going to go through his stat, 91 diving and blah blah blah, I'm not going to do that. You can see it's very easy and it's just gonna take time from my video. So let's jump into the center backs. There you guys have it, David Luiz, Thiago Silva as the two center backs. You guys already know, David Luiz, OP headers, he's just OP in the ultimate team, he's amazing. Thiago Silva as well, also team of the season card, there's no need for that, but yeah, some of you might ask why is there a red line between Czech and Thiago Silva but it's okay that doesn't matter it doesn't affect the gameplay boom there you guys have it the right back left back we have Mariano and Armero what I prefer at the wings we need pace 90 pace on Armero Colombian very good and Mariano not the best one we've got but 88 pace if you can defend uh, very well then you guys know how to handle him so you don't need to have an 84 rated I don't know Dani Alves or something like this Pace is the most important thing as right and left mid back. Boom! Our next two players, the two center mids, we have Guarin and Tulalan. Now the difference between them is Tulalan is the one, he is the defensive machine. He is the one winning the balls and playing it out to our camps and eventually to our striker. Guarin on the other hand, he can win the ball, yes, but he is more of a playmaker. He can pass the ball, he can even shoot. He scored so many goals for me in the defensive uh, midfielder position. He is amazing at long shots. Even his free kicks, they're very awesome. They're amazing. And on the striker position, I'm gonna reveal it's these two guys. Boom! Ibarbo and Falcao. I don't have to say anything. We got the OP Ibarbo. So much pace. He just damages the whole defensive line of the opponent he is awesome even long shots even heading i don't know what's wrong with this guy he's just amazing and then also falcao he's just he it's it's not fun to play with him you just cross it in he's gonna head the ball into the back of the net he's crazy and for the, my favorite part it's gonna be our two cans can you guess first one is boom obviously rodriguez camp position team of the season card or his informed card he is amazing, one of the best players I've used. He's so awesome, he's so quick, he's like a Messi, he's so good. We've got one spot left, it's this camp position, and I'm gonna tell you guys, this guy right here is my favorite player on this team. Who do you think it is? Yep, you guessed it right, Santi Cazorla. I'm just kidding, of course it's not Santi Cazorla, it is this guy. Boom, this guy, it's team of the season card, Moreno. This guy is simply amazing. Let me show you. He is a five-star skiller. I never knew it. I got him on a pack and I just attempt to try to use him and I love him. I love him so much. He is like a Ronaldo for me. I'm playing him on the left camp position because he is right-footed. Why? I'm just skilling through, breaking through to the middle and I shoot because in his long shots, they're simply amazing. He is so good for me and he is my favorite player on this team. I'm doing this squad, build squad builder only because of this guy because I love him so much. So, let us go through the squad. This is how the final squad looks like. You see we have two red lines in between Guarin and to Lalan and also between Guarin and David Luiz but that's okay why because Guarin is in the middle of the pitch he's not gonna make those uh, 
uh, those critical runs that we need we need to make we need to have Ibarbo and Falcao doing the runs uh, coordinately to not get on on the opponents of side trap and also David Luiz and Thiago Silva uh, to make the perfect offside trap for the opponent uh, Guarin he has like eight chemistry if you have the correct um, uh, manager or something and he's gonna get at, at most um, eight chemistry but that simply doesn't affect him he, he it doesn't affect if he's eight or ten but this team right here is amazing so yeah this is the team um, let's jump into a tournament and uh, let's see how we do
was it for the video guys I really hope you enjoyed this video I really hope it was helpful I really do recommend you using this team and I would more than uh, appreciate if you wrote us some comments and uh, telling me what could be better with this team and your opinion on this team and if you tried it out was it really good or was it not that good uh, I would appreciate anything so yeah stay tuned for more epic squad builders and um, I have one more in up in my sleeves and if you guys have any request I'm open for it uh, just write down what kind of uh, formation you want and what are the like the special players you want to be uh, involved in that team and I will try to do my best to make an epic squad builder around that uh, I have one more squad builder up in my sleeves and I'm gonna show it to you and that is uh, Probably my favorite team and I love that team probably more than this team I really do love that and I hope you stay tuned for that uh, episode as well and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time take care guys